Horizon Forbidden West not only introduced a bunch of new machines and weapons, but also tons of new armor for Aloy to rock while she saves the world from the apocalypse's apocalypse. And, as with any game worth its salt, that means that there are some super fancy outfits to unlock. Here's how to get your hands on the best armor in the Forbidden West. There are only six legendary outfits to unlock in Forbidden West, each one roughly paired to a skill tree, and you might be surprised to find that five of them are bought from merchants. Now don't go thinking that means that they're a cakewalk to get a hold of, though. They're either going to cost you a boatload of shards or a buttload of effort. The first ones you'll probably run into are available once you complete the missions required to unlock the arena. The Prize Master here will sell you the Karja Stalker Elite, which is great for those of you who favor traps and stealth, the Nora Thunder Warrior, and this one also has some stealth bonuses, but it's really focused on boosting your concentration and ranged weapon damage, and the Tanakh the Vanquisher, which as you might have guessed is melee focused, though it's spec to complement survivor skills, so its benefits really kick in when you're taking as much damage as you're dishing out. All three of these outfits can be bought for 54 arena medals each, meaning you'll need to complete at least the first tier and a half or so of arena challenges to earn enough for just one. For my money, that'd be the Thunder Warrior, since I lean really heavily on concentration shots, but they're all great depending on how you prefer to play. Two more legendary outfits can be picked up from the Stitcher in the lowland village of Thornmarsh. Both cost a hefty sum of 2,000 shards, plus a couple of parts from more dangerous machines. The Tanakh Tactician is all about overriding machines in mounted combat and requires a Thunderjaw Circulator and the heart of an Apex Slitherfang, while the Atiru Winterweave Armor is for you silent but deadly infiltrator types out there and needs an Apex Dreadwing Heart and a Tremor Tusk Circulator. Lastly, the final, and let's face it, probably coolest armor set is what you'll get for completing all of those salvage contracts scattered around the map. Do all the contracts for all four salvage camps and you'll unlock the Asaram Artificer outfit, which has some of the strongest general defenses and some great buffs for those of you who like to charge headlong into a fight. Of course, unlocking these outfits is only half the battle. You've still got to upgrade them, and the cost of doing so is not cheap. Just the first upgrade for the Asaram armor requires you to take down at least three Dreadwings, so just remember that you can drop the difficulty down to easy if you don't want to worry about accidentally destroying anything important. For more tips for surviving the Forbidden West, we can show you where to get all the legendary weapons to go with your fancy new duds, or how to solve all those pesky Vista Point puzzles. You can find even more helpful info in our full Forbidden West guide, along with all your other gaming and Dinobot hunting needs, over on IGN.com.